So number seven then from paper two of the 2017 National Five. Here we go, it's a triangles question here. You're given these two triangles, which have got a common side here of length seven at the same angle. And when placed together form this larger triangle, the question is, is this larger triangle right angled for three marks? Well, when you join them together, the sevens will disappear. This side will be left as eight. This side will be left as 19, but this side will be formed from these two, the 6 and the 16, joining together to make 22. And the question is, is it right angled? Is 22 squared the same as 8 squared plus 19 squared? Does Pythagoras work? So we'll just have to check that then. What is 22 squared? Now I shouldn't really write 22 squared equals 8 squared plus 19 squared, because you don't know if they are. So I'll work out 8 squared plus 19 squared separately. Now you're probably just going to reach for your calculator. And for the first one, you've got 484. And those two could be done separately or just put together. And putting them together gives 425. And now you can make your comparison to see whether Pythagoras worked or not. But first of all, just this business about, and ignore this if you like, just this business about automatically going for your calculator because you see these calculations. Yes, it's a calculator paper, so that's what you would do, but I just mean in general. For instance, when you look at 22 squared, you probably just see 22 and press the square button. But there are other ways of getting 22. There's patterns you can look for. It could be useful to look for these patterns. 22 is 2 times 11. So 22 squared should be 2 squared times 11 squared, 4 times 1, 2, 1, which is 4, 8, 4. Or you could think 22 squared is 22 22s. That's 20 times 22 plus another 2 of them. Now 20 times 22 is 440, plus another 44 gives you this. Same with this part, you could, well you should know that. 8 squared is 64, but 19 squared, well 19 squared, would be like having, instead of 19 19s, have 20 19s. That'd be easy, because that'd just be 380. But take away the extra 19, so that leaves you with 361. And then they add quite quickly, don't they? The 6 and the 6 make 12, which bumps it up to a 4, and then you've got 2 5. Anyway, just saying, it'd be handy if you tried to break free of total reliance on the calculator instead of just automatically reaching for it. Still, it wasn't relevant to this question because it was an exam and it was a calculator exam, so you should use your calculator just for safety. But it's worth trying to develop arithmetical insight into number work. Anyway, now, the comparison. You could write 484 is greater than 425, but essentially those numbers are being compared really to compare these two. I've got them evaluated already. The essential statement is 22 squared was bigger than 8 squared plus 19 squared. That's what you wanted to check to see if it was right angled or not. If it had been equal to it, Pythagoras could have, would have worked. If it's not equal to it, it means it doesn't work. Notice it's a greater than, but it doesn't ask for this part. Greater than means it's too big for Pythagoras. So this angle here is actually bigger than 90. But didn't ask for that. It just said, is it right angled? So you write this statement down. By the converse of Pythagoras, the triangle is not right angled.